It's a violent act. <laughs> and it's actually um, stuff from the, for your teeth, you know, to clean your teeth. What is it called? Dental floss? Yes, it's dental floss. That's it looks it. old. Yeah. <laughs> I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't used it. It was just fresh, but I used it for the for my tambourine. Oh. Here. And, and this one. Is there an egg? It yeah. looks like an egg. There's a chicken. Oh. So, um, it's not from Easter. It's a. <laughs> and you use the the dental floss to hold it together. Yeah. Well. Yeah. tambourine so they both are connected with each other oh okay you know so i can um and here i have a another piece on this one but i had like, actually last concert i had to leave uh, when i was in nairobi i had to go so quickly to the airport that i just put everything like it was like very quickly in the suitcase and that's why it's now um, still connected with <laughs> Oh. A lot of stuff, and I have to get everything out. But in general, it's clean and it's like organized. <laughs> you know? So this one goes somewhere here. are you with the preparations? I think a lot of people think it's kind of random. Um, well, some, this for example, I always use on the C, D, and E here on the It's sports. just a piece of duct tape it's blocking. It's a piece of duct tape and it creates a lot of this like very short percussive notes. Um, and this one I a lot of times use around here at the end. creates a little bit of a rumble so it can so it has always this like boom punch and uh, I use a lot of time so so some of the stuff that I'm using is random but I would say the um, um, main keys I, I've, I've mostly prepared in a similar way so that's Those are foam wedges, right? Yeah, these are felt wedges, which are used from for piano, well, um, tuners. Mm -hmm. Grand piano or piano tuners, they use that for muting one string, or two strings, actually, when you have three next to each other, you use those for muting, so you have one string that you can tune. Mm -hmm. And these ones are the same, but they are... They have a little forked uh, end, I think. Yes, they have a forked end, but they, they do a wonderful, like... You see, when you put them up... Yeah, one of our tracks starts with that yes. sound. And it probably, like, yeah, the higher you put them up, the more tone they get, mm -hmm. but the lower you have them, the more wooden... It changes the, the pitch, yeah. too. Yes. So... Oh. You know, and if you put them, like, really low here... Here it sounds more like a drum, and I'm using those a lot here.
upper register I lose, use a lot of stuff that is just tingling or making a weird uh, like this is a this is a piece that I what is that? That's a it's a, a clay a clay ball that oh. is um, burned in the fire, so it's very hard. Yeah. And, um, this can this is uh, you have to find the right position that it's like hit by the hammer, but the note is still taking place. So um, I'm I'm trying to find the best note for for putting it. You see now it's too low, so it's keeping right. holding the hammer back. So I have to find a place where... It's like the bell when you walk into a shop. Ex exactly. The bell over the door. Exactly. And with the higher strings, they're just, they're, they're strung so tight and they're shorter. So I think it's harder to use their vibrations to move other things. Yes. So mostly I use here things that are flapping on top of the strings. And Get a tap or a texture noise. Yes. Like this one here, for example, these little bells, they are very nice. So important not to drop them into the piano. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one is not working. I have to take that off. Mm. So that's that's mainly it. I think there's only one thing that I'm doing, you know, which is a lot of times very helpful. That's a filter, right, for a light? That's a light filter, yeah. And they, they're doing very, very nice things to the... Um, they're doing very nice things on top of the nose because they create a kind of hi-hat, mm -hmm. kind of hi-hat sound. So, you have this... Tick, 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 which I like, and um, there's also one other thing that I'm using. This is this. Uh, it's a... Like Is it a, bottle, a bottle, cap? bottle cap from a whatever water bottle or a Coke bottle. It's plastic, and this when you put that uh, on the string right here, it creates a very nice percussive sound. Yeah. You know, so you have a little bit of a of knocking. Tapping. Tapping. And uh, the one last thing, if I find it, um, is actually the. Um, I'm using these hard, hard erasers. Where? Oh, here, there we go. The bag is almost like a whole instrument of itself. It is, it is. And I, I really, um, that's why I'm, because I put everything in there just by, you know, this sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> and those, which we will use in one, I think we used that in Godot. Uh, yeah. One point. Rattles around. Yes. And yeah. this one is a kind of odd eraser and it's, um, it's very soft and it's like um, like clay as well. Mm -hmm. And if you put that on, like here, or we should put a lower note like here maybe. It's like a mute. It does what it does to the sound. What a violin mute tends to do to the violin, in, yeah. in some ways. Yes, it also takes not only the high end away, it also creates this weird kind of bus. So it sounds really like an 
I would say more like an exotic instrument, mm -hmm. like a marimba phone or... Yeah, so, I think... Are we ready to start? We are ready to rehearse, yes. Okay. 